was just like, I don't even care about this whole natural stuff. I am getting a perm. Like, there's just no way. There's just no way that I'm about to be out here like this. Like, no, no, I can't. Hey there, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Juice Lachey, if you don't know already. And today's video is gonna be a little bit of a chit chat video. I did a poll on YouTube and I asked you guys if you would be interested in hearing about my natural hair story, how I transitioned, why I transitioned, including pictures, of course. So most of you guys said that you would be interested in this. So here we are today. I am going to be talking to you while I twist out my hair but first I really have to cleanse condition and detangle my hair so with that said I am going to go do what I have to do but before we get started you already know what you gotta do help your girl out okay support me every subscription counts I really do appreciate you guys support so guys I'll be right back okay guys so I am back hair is washed I don't want to keep interrupting the story to let you guys know which products I'm using so I'm just gonna let you guys know now I'm gonna be using the Shea Moisture virgin coconut oil daily hydration leave-in treatment with coconut milk and Acacia Senegal so I'm gonna be using this as my leave-in and then I'm going to be using this Shea Moisture coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie with silk protein and neem oil and I will be putting some oil on my end and then just to make sure that I get a nice defined curl, I will be using this Jamaican Black Cast Oil Strength and Restore Conditioning Shine Gel with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. Okay, last is off. It's chit chat time. I got my first perm a few days before my fifth grade graduation. I, at that time, like did not care about, you know, perms and what products are. I mean I was in fifth grade like I really could care less all I remember is getting a perm and feeling like that girl like that chick I was so gassed I was just like oh my gosh I've never seen my hair this straight before so I was actually pretty excited I from that point on have always had perms every five to six months like clockwork I was in the salon getting that perm or I was at a family friend's house and they were doing the perm for me so for several years I was getting perms. So this is where the shift started to happen. My first year of college, of course, I got a perm right before getting to college. So sometime in August, I wasn't about to be caught slipping. New life, new campus, new school, new friends. Like, of course, my hair has to be flowing like I'm in a dark and lovely commercial. That's how I planned on stepping into campus. I was feeling myself. I was getting compliments on my hair like, hey. Like I said, every five to six months, you wasn't gonna tell me nothing. Like I was getting my perm and I was staying on schedule. I got that perm right before I got to campus in August. That means by like January, February time, I was supposed to be getting my next perm and for some reason which i cannot remember i procrastinated and i just never got my perm it might have been the fact that i was in a new school and i didn't really know who i can get my hair done by whatever the case was i just never ended up getting a perm so at this point it's at least five six months that i haven't gotten a perm and I'm due. And I go and I visit my best friend Jasmine. She, at this point, pretty much has just done the big chop. And she's like pro natural and trying to convince everyone to go natural. And she's like, Drew, your hair is gonna look so dope. Like I can already tell, I already know your curl pattern is gonna look crazy and you're gonna love it. And I'm just like, oh, I don't know. What is this whole go natural movement? I just feel like, I don't know if I'm gonna like my hair when it's natural. I just had so many reservations, but she made some great points. She even um, had all these natural books and she was showing me like the effects of the perms. I told her I would consider it. And she was like, you know, you might as well, you're almost there. You haven't permed your hair in so long. So at that point, she was right. And my hair, because it hasn't been permed for so many months, had already naturally started transitioning. I was half natural hair and half permed hair already. My roots were looking crazy. My ends were looking hella straight. So I had several months to think about it. Summer went by, still didn't perm my hair. So now it's time to go back to school. This is now sophomore year, second year of college. I got to the point where right before school, obviously, 
it's time to slay the hair again like when it's about to be time for school you don't you don't come with your hair busted like you make sure your hair is laid down you have a new hairstyle like you don't you don't get caught slipping first week of school especially so it was getting to that time and i was really thinking about it, like man i have to go get my hair done but i've really been thinking about this whole natural thing and you know what let me just try it out so i decided to try out being natural but i still wanted my hair laid so i was like you know what i'm gonna go get a wash and set and for those of you who don't know what a wash and set is it's just pretty much when they wash your hair they put a roller set in put you under the dryer then when your hair dries they like blow dry your hair to make it really straight tell me how i got my hair done the day before and i always laugh at this part because like this is what really jump started this whole series of events but anyway i got a wash and set the day before school now it's the day of moving in and i live in a walk-up apartment so i'm lugging my stuff even though i have help it's still a lot of stuff so i'm lugging my stuff up and down the stairs up and down by the time i'm done i'm fully sweaty like the shower i took meant nothing just everything was just nasty and hot because it was august i kid you not by the time we moved everything into my dorm and I was settled in my hair. <laughs> it was almost like I never got my hair done in the first place. Like when I tell you my hair was so disrespectful, it was so unruly and my hair was, like I said, part permed and part transitioning. So I had like thick roots and then everything else was straight. And I'm not kidding. I'm really not kidding when I say it looked like I never got my hair done. I was pissed. I was so mad because, you know, back in college, I used to pay for like a lot of self-care stuff on my own. Like I didn't want to bother my parents with like, hey, can you give me money to get my hair done? So I would just use like work study money or a little summer job money to pay for like my hair or whatever else I wanted to do. The fact that I had spent like $30 on getting this wash and set, Back then, that was a lot for me because I was just like, this is my my money that, you know, I don't I don't get too much of with these little work study jobs and $30 like for it to last for less than 24 hours. I was livid. I was so pissed. And I was just like, are you serious? And you want to know the icing on the cake, <laughs> the icing on the cake. <laughs> is that you know i step out and i'm looking at these other you know black and brown students coming with their hair blown out and just swinging flawlessly in the wind and i'm just like having so much like envy at that moment i'm just like you guys haven't seen me in months and i'm here looking like this like absolutely not i was just like i am getting a perm i don't even care about this whole natural stuff I am getting a perm like there's just no way there's just no way that I'm about to be out here like this like no no I can't one of my roommates was also going to be getting her hair done in the area so I decided to go with her because she knew like a salon I was just like listen I want a perm I don't care how much I had to pay and I was just complaining about how much money I spent on washing set but when I tell you like I was willing to drop down any amount of money at any salon just to like make sure my hair looked laid i was ready i got my perm right and the whole time that she's doing it like i'm not really paying attention like i'm not really looking in the mirror or anything i'm just like okay whatever so i wasn't really paying attention to my hair when she was finally done i looked in the mirror <laughs> and what i saw what i saw is what made me officially go back to being natural. What I saw was my hair looking as thin as paper, okay? Paper. When I tell you my hair looked like this, I'm not kidding. My hair, this is what my hair looked like on my head. That's it. This is what it looked like. This is what, this is what my hair looked like. It was so crazy let me tell you why it was such a big deal that my hair looks so flat you're probably like well you got perms all the time weren't you used to your hair being flat this is a different kind of flat like this is like my hair for sure broke off way more than it usually ever does because my hair was like 
already half natural, half permed. My hair was actually way thicker because the roots were growing in. And even though I would always straighten my hair and stuff, it would still have like a lot of volume. But because I had gotten a perm after that point, it definitely broke off a lot of my hair because my hair was already on its way back to its natural state. And then I went and I put this harsh chemical back in there. So my hair wasn't like regular perm delayed, like, okay, I'm cool. It was just like, you have no hair. I was just like, where the hell is all my hair? I was, I was in that moment. I have never felt so much regret. Like that's one of the moments where I'm just like, I really regret what I just did. My hair was just always so beautiful. And I'm not saying this to like to my own horn, but just the fact that it went from that to like me hating my hair because it looked like it had no life, no body, no volume. Like it was just sad looking. It looked so lifeless, guys. So at that moment, I was just like, I'm never. That was the moment I was just like, I'm never doing this ever in my life again. I'm never putting one more perm in my hair. And that was literally what jump started my natural hair journey. Just the fact that that perm was able to take so much of my hair out. Of course, I've heard of horror stories. I've read horror stories of like perms and stuff, even burning people's heads. But when it came to it breaking off my hair, man, I was like, not ready for that i was just like so disappointed angry upset regretful sad i beat myself up so much over this because i was just like this is what i get for trying to be like everyone else when you know? it came to transitioning i decided that i was not going to do the big chop because when it came to being natural two things that i was nervous about was a how my curls gonna look like Am I going to have popping curls? Because what I used to do, which I would never suggest that you do, especially if you're transitioning, what I used to do is look at other girls' natural hair like online and be like, oh, I want those curls. The fact that like I wanted my curls to look a specific way is not the best way to go natural because then if you don't like your curls, then what? Like, you're going to go back to being perm? Like, like what you going to do? What you, like, what's going to happen? So pretty much, I was just like, I'm not chopping off on my hair. Like, that's a really bold move. And I give props to everyone who does that. I was just like, I'll take it one step at a time. But I still will cut off big chunks. So I would cut my hair a few inches, put it in braids or put it in twists. Then after like a month and a half, two months, I'll take it out wash it, condition it, cut it again. I did this like three or four times before I actually started like wearing my hair out for longer periods of time. But it took me almost two years to fully transition. I can see the difference in my hair now that it's natural versus when it was permed. Like it's so much healthier. This is not to like shade anyone who perms their hair. My hair has been so much better off, so much thicker and voluminous but is it a lot of work yes yes i'm not gonna lie so you have to learn your hair you have to learn what works for your hair and the thing is that your hair is not going to be the same today as it will be like a year from now so when i was newly natural some of the products that worked for me do not work for me now hair has a lot of personality so you have to kind of keep learning it and relearning it what works for me even though you may have a similar or the same hair type may not even work for you so everyone is different everyone's hair reacts differently and so you have to literally try it out for yourself like i can give you the best advice on a hair product but at the end of the day it may just completely not work for you and that's okay but it is a trial and error situation so i want to get into a couple of things in terms of going natural like why i even hesitated on going natural and what i was like so afraid of one of the things that i was really really concerned about was how is this hair pattern gonna look like if I don't like my curl pattern, what's gonna happen? Every step of the transitioning process, I was looking at my roots. The curl pattern, my roots, and I was just like, is this how my hair is gonna look? Because if so, I was not about to be very happy with it. And what I want to tell the people who are watching this who are probably transitioning is that your curl pattern won't be like fully developed when you start transitioning. Like, it takes a while. The way that my roots looked looks nothing like my hair now something that my friend taught me and shout out to you jasmine you probably 
don't even know that I still remember this. You have to grow to love your curl pattern because it may not look like one of your favorite natural hair models hair but it doesn't make it any less beautiful it was a hard thing for me to accept that like my curl pattern might not be you know very loose and bouncy and big because that's actually i'm being honest like that's what i wanted and it didn't turn out like that but my hair is still popping and i love my curls when you're transitioning you really don't know how your hair is gonna look and if you set that expectation like i'm only really gonna like my hair if it looks like this then if your hair doesn't look like that, you're going to be very unhappy. So it just comes with trying to have like an open mind and just accepting what comes. Because at the end of the day, this is the hair that God put on our heads, right? So this is what we're meant to have. Something else that was like a little bit of a learning curve for me was just caring for natural hair. Knowing how to do protective styles, knowing how often to wash your hair, what kinds of products are good or bad for your hair. It's a lot and you have to learn what works best for you as time went on i started learning about more styles and you know just how to take care of my hair it's a lot of work but i enjoy having natural hair so much it literally comes with a whole sisterhood like a whole community of girls like automatically you go natural boom you got your community also my hair is so versatile before my hair was like super super silky i couldn't do nice big braid outs like I could do it but it just would not come out as like thick and full honestly like I can do so much I'm like doing braid outs twist outs bantu knots high puffs low puffs name it I can still put weave in my hair I can still put a wig on I can still add extensions yes I'm on the last twist see what I'm talking about natural hair stuff is time consuming child that's why at this point now because i've gotten busier over the years i'm more big on protective styles a lot of times people don't know i wear like a lot of half wigs because i just do not have the time to like do my hair so it, i'll do like half wigs that look natural all i have to do is take out the front of my hair and blend and boom i got me a quick hairstyle all right let me go clean up get dolled up for dinner and i will give you a proper ending all right guys that is all for this video i hope that you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you like this kind of content please go ahead and leave it down in the comments box below i'm curious to know what kind of content you guys want to see more on my channel and i also want you guys to share your natural hair stories if you're transitioning or you're natural let's go ahead and make this a conversation leave it down in the comments box below do not forget to subscribe and help you girl out and i will see you guys in my next video bye